I've always thought you have to live life looking forwards, not backwards. And I've had no interest at all in who my ancestors are. But I suppose there's a bit of a sense you might find something interesting out. And also, I think that most television is just complete and total rubbish. And uh, a chance to get something, discover something on television, which is a bit of social history, something that you know, makes us all what we are, well, maybe that's worth doing. Can't say it's a burning issue with me, though. Should it be? You don't sound very excited by it. I'm not very excited by it. I mean, I'm interested, but I'm not excited. What do you expect, what do you expect me to do? Wet my pants? I mean, it's ridiculous. Of course I'm not excited. Ask me a sensible question. I suppose maybe as you get older and you realise that, you know, all we, all we can do is be born, do what we can and, and die, maybe at that time in life, oh yeah, it makes me sound completely geriatric, but at, at that stage in life you start thinking, well, yeah, I wonder how they did it before. I wonder how my grandparents, great-grandparents and ancestors before them, what it was like for them. Did they make any sense of it? I don't know. A post-war baby, Jeremy Paxman was born into a prosperous Yorkshire family. He enjoyed a privileged middle-class upbringing. Educated at private schools, he later went on to study English at Cambridge. Well, uh, time to find out something about my mother's side of the family. So we're coming now to see uh, Mum, uh, if she can hear the bell, and uh, see how far, you know, at least to get started with her, I hope. Hello, Mum. Hello, nice to see mm. you. Mm. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty well, pretty well, pretty well. Thanks. This is my father and mother. So this is Mabel and young. Morris. Yeah, so got... At that time, they were both in the Salvation Army. They met in the Salvation Army. My mother had uh, managed to get away from home and just sort of joined the Salvation Army and uh, had to go to the meetings there where she met Dad, who was already a member and a bandsman. And that is a picture of, uh, of my mum, your grandmother, when she first joined oh, the Army. Isn't it nice, that? Yeah. She looks sort of very new. She looks scared to death, actually, doesn't she? She does. She does. She was very shy as a young woman. And they used to have to go into pubs and bars and things and try and save all these drunks, you know. And fortunately for her, she had a very good singing voice. Yeah. So she could either talk them, try and convert them, or sing hymns to them or something. <laughs> she had gone for a quiet drink in the pub. <laughs> I think she used to sing to them. Where was she from originally? She was from Glasgow. She grew up she, in she, Glasgow. She was brought up in Glasgow, yes. Yes, Big she was family? One of a, an enormous family. Really? Ele How? Eleven, I think. Eleven children? Eleven children, yes. Whew. Now, this picture here, this is Mary... My grandparents. Your grandmother, is, yes. Mabel's mother, Mabel's and her father. Mother and father, yes. And he's obviously... He's the one that was in the army. In the British army, yeah. Yes. He was a sergeant major or some sort of warrant officer or something. That was probably a wedding photograph, I should think. Yeah. I like the way he's sitting down and she's standing yeah. up. Should be the other way around. <laughs> it does seem a little unchivalrous, I agree. <laughs> it's funny. He does look a bit pleased with himself, yeah. doesn't he? At one time he was stationed somewhere down in Devonshire because that's where he met Mary and took her back to Glasgow and married her. Uh, and then he was stationed in London, Derry. That's where my mother was born. And apart from that, I don't really know mm. anything about him. And what's this? Well, this was uh, it's a Bible, my mother's it? Bible when she was in the Salvation Army. I thought you might be oh. interested to have, have a look through it at some time. It's got all sorts of uh, bits and pieces in it, little notes that Ooh, she's made in it. And inside the cover. 
I love the way she's underlined things. Look at this. I have played the fool and have erred exceedingly. Oh, oh that's lovely. I wonder what she meant by that. I have that. erred exceedingly. <laughs> but look here in the front. To Mabel A. Mackay, a present from her mother. The 21st of December, 1904. Must have been her Christmas present, I should yeah. think, in 1904. Be thou an example. Oh, look here. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. Mabel, do right. Next stop, Glasgow, to find out more about Jeremy's great-grandparents, John and Mary Mackay, and their daughter, Mabel. The appearance of that Bible, it was a really well-thumbed thing, underlined and things written into it. And so, that, you know, something that she'd studied in some, um, some intensity. So you don't ridicule faith, you think... Oh, come on! I really don't think you should ever do that. I very strongly think that you do not make fun of people's uh, religious convictions. Uh, I, 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 would, I would never do so. Uh, I may th privately think that they're uh, misguided. I may detest some interpretations of religious or manifestations of religious belief, but I think you absolutely re respect people's religious convictions. Because I do think, you know, it's the, it's the only important... The only important matter whether we're here for a purpose. Yeah, I think that really matters. This is it. This is the coast. Is it fantastic? Isn't it beautiful? John Mackay. So it says on the back he's, um, he's Royal Artillery. And I think this is the stuff from the National Archives, which presumably, with any luck, will have his, his army records. So here we see John Mackay, Royal Artillery. Joined in Dundee, and he's um, a Presbyterian. And this is his service record. He joins the Royal Artillery in 1866. As a gunner. Then he's made sergeant in 1876. He's discharged in March 1891 after serving 22 years and 61 days and entitled to a pension. So there was a census in 1891. The census shows the Mackays back in Glasgow after John's retirement, aged 39. John is their sole breadwinner, but all he's got is a military pension. So what happened next to the Mackays?